Can you visit Anton's private villa at the start of the game? Will sharks eat dead bodies? And can falling trees hurt people? These are some of the experiments that we'll be running today in Far Cry 6. But first I need to make a correction. In my first video titled, Can You Go Do Esperanza from the Start of the Game? In one of the experiments I erroneously concluded that it was not possible, when in fact it totally is, as pointed out by Mike Westcott in the comments. If you take a sewer just south of Esperanza, there is a turn that I completely missed on my first visit. Not sure how that was possible, but yeah, I missed it. A very obvious left turn which takes you directly to the tower's base. Once you arrive, there isn't a whole lot you can do as you can imagine. The upper levels are not available to you until you progress through the story, but yeah, you can technically get to the Tour de Leon at the start of the game. In the same video, I also hit an invisible wall while trying to jump a fence into the restricted zone. Commenter Joe Dirt suggested using the Fire Supremo's double jump to give me extra distance. So uh, I went back to give it a go, but unfortunately, the game still physically prevents you from crossing the boundary. Thank you for the suggestions, and without further delay, let's get into today's video. Will burning enemies run to water? Right, so the idea here is to get the flamethrower out. We're going to set an enemy on fire and see if they run to the close by water to put it out. Let's see what happens. We're going to try to lure them over to this water here first. Might make things a little bit easier. Well, right, I think this is our first victim. Come on, mate. Are they on the roof or something? Time to get all toasty. That's it. Come on. Did they? Okay. Um, they just chose to die, I guess. Let's try someone else. Please do, the water is just there. No worries, so I think we got our first answer. The AI does not think to run to water when they're on fire. Maybe they think it's flammable or something, I don't even know. But as you can see, if we set ourselves on fire, the water does work, so... Would have been good if the AI could think the same way, but apparently not. Check this out, even the dogs will roll around to try to put it out. And NPCs will ostensibly run away from water for some reason, which is actually kind of hilarious. But this, this is how it's actually done. I don't think he likes me anymore. Not sure what this is about Anton's hiring process when a sausage dog uses better logic than soldiers, but let's move on to experiment number two. Can falling trees hurt people? One thing that stands out to me in Fire Cry 6 is the fact that trees can take damage and fall to the ground. I'm just wondering if these falling trees can actually hurt me or hurt other people. I really do appreciate that the AI completely ignores the perfectly fine weapons on their back. It does make it a lot easier to set up though. Not exactly what I had planned, but I might have to try a different angle here. Oh my god. Holy shit, that wasn't even me. Did you see that? He totally got murked by that falling tree. I don't even know what happened there. I think that might have been some fire that caused that to fall. We'll just put it down to natural disaster. Now let's see if Denny or Rojas can get hurt. Don't know if I missed that one or... I'll try again. No, I think we're good. Which is probably a good thing. I think if you're playing and a tree falls on you and you die, I think you'd be really upset. How does poison, fire, and EMP affect NPCs? So we know that poison makes soldiers go schizo. Let's see what happens when we throw a poison grenade at some civilians. They don't look overly concerned. And then they just drop dead. You can see some obvious effects on the bodies, but nothing interesting or noteworthy. Poison will make our Omega sick, but uh, they don't start attacking us, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I expect with this. EMP seems to knock them down, but no real damage. I don't think it'll kill them. Gonna test some fire now to see if it leaves any lasting burns. The skin looks curiously unaffected. But there is that unfortunate bobble head side effect. What happens if you don't bribe the officer at the start of the game? During the tutorial phase, the game will teach you how to bribe officers for intel. I'm just curious to see what happens if we instead give them a face full of bullets. You got something for me? 
Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. I appreciate it. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Hey, who are it? Right, so a little bit of additional dialogue, but I don't think it drastically changes the game in any meaningful way. But we do get to use the Uno reverse card and take pesos of him instead, so that's a big plus. Will sharks eat dead bodies? So I don't know how I came up with this one, but it kind of reminds me of like when you were a little kid. You know how you put spiders in ants and jars hoping they'll eat them? I guess this is sort of like that. First we need to find a dead body. It's not giving us a button prompt here to pick up this body. So sacrifices will have to be made in the name of science. And it's always a good idea to have a spare. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but the game kind of crashed on me. So we're going to try a different location this time. Don't think anyone will miss you. I think the easiest way is to take the food out to the sharks. So we'll go ahead and meet up with them. This is really weird. So it's been about 20 minutes now and we haven't seen a single shark. Even when you swim in the water, they usually come up right to you, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because I'm on a boat or what, but seriously, dinner's getting cold. Strangest thing, I left my boat, found a shark, but as soon as I go to return to the boat, the body is gone. I can't seem to figure out why, but I'm going to try to do this from land. So I've got a shark now, and we've got some shark food. Let's go see what happens. I'd like to bring him up a little closer if that's possible. Here we go. Seems to have no interest in the dead body, but wants to get me. Oh, there's a little action. Nice. I would have liked to see some blood in the water, but yeah, nah. But I think we all appreciate more menu options. So yeah, sharks will eat dead bodies to some degree. They won't get rid of the bodies completely, but they'll come in for a little nibble, which is a nice little touch. Can you kill enemies with a pet bomb? We're going to go ahead and summon our little friend here, and let's see if the game will let Chorizo deliver some proximity mines to the soldiers. Now I know you've been through a lot already, but I'm going to need your help on this one. Well it seems to be working. I think one more and we should be set. Awesome. Alright, let's go find someone. Get him, boy. Oh, that is a scary sight. Oh, no way, he's okay. That's unreal. That is so cool. Well, it goes to show that with a little bit of creative thought, you can really create some OP combinations. And I think he still loves me too, so that's a big plus. Can you go back to where you first started the game? So we have a comment here from Thor's alumni. The question reads, can you go back to where Danny and her friends were at the very beginning of the game? Well, the short answer is yes, and I'll show you how to get there. So obviously you want to head back to Esperanza. And if you take a look at where I'm heading, there's actually a checkpoint here you can pass through. Now of course you're going to be met with a whole bunch of high level enemies, so make sure you're equipped and ready for that. But yeah, it's pretty much a straight linear path, but uh, if you take a left right here, you take care of this guy. This is actually where you stealth your way through and out of the city at the very start of the game. Now if you remember, someone did get slaughtered in this corner while we were hiding in the shadows. And there was a couple of soldiers knocking on this door over here looking for Danny Rojas. This is the place where the game was teaching us how to stealth. And if you make your way all the way up to the top and into this room, there's a USB that you can pick up. So yeah, this is where we're having that rooftop party at the start before our buddy lost his shit and got murked by a sniper. Can you go straight to Anton's private villa? 
So during one of the later missions, you'll be asked to go to Anton's private villa, which is on that island to the north. Let's see if we can get there a little early. Righto, so far so good. Looks like our wanted level has risen all the way up though. I'm expecting some heavy resistance, so I'm going to take this one really safe and stealthy. If I remember correctly, I think you need a key card to get through the front door, so that might pose a problem. But we'll go see what happens anyway. He definitely needs to go. So I think this is the gate that we normally go through. Obviously locked. And if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's only because I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's see if we can jump this. Well, that was unexpected. Not bad. So we're on the grounds now. Let's see if we can get inside of the second level. Well, shit, I've blown my cover. Might just have to leg it all the way from here. And they've already got air support. I might actually have to take care of this chopper. Ah, shit. Those aren't rockets. Oh my. Just let me pass, mate. Alright, so we're on the second level now. And I think it's just this corner here. This is where the showdown begins. Spoilers. It appears that the lights are on, but nobody's home. So yeah, you can actually reach Anton's private villa at the start of the game, but there's nothing too exciting to report. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know by giving it a like. And if you have any other suggestions for in-game experiments for Far Cry 6, drop it in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out, my name's Dizza, and I'll see you in the next one.